Corey Hodge and the disease that I'm choosing to present today is rickettsiosis. What is rickettsiosis? Rickettsiosis is a group of several infectious diseases transmitted by ectoparasites such as lice, ticks, and mice, carrying rickettsia. Rickettsia is any of a group of intracellular bacteria that causes febrile diseases in humans. Rickettsiosis is also very rare. History of rickettsiosis. Howard Ricketts discovered the cause of Rocky Mountain spotted fever. The origin of rickettsiosis is unknown. In Bitter River Valley, seven people died of Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Because of this, 111 cases were studied, and of that, 69% was fatal. The antibiotic tetracycline was proven to be effective in the treatment of Rocky Mountain spotted fever in the 1940s types of rickettsiosis. There are three groups of rickettsiosis, spotted fever group, typhus group, and the scrub typhus group. Each of these groups are caused by rickettsia. The spotted fever group is transmitted by ticks, mites, or body lice. The typhus group is transmitted by the bite of an infected, infected flea. The scrub typhus group is transmitted by larval mites. The common symptoms of rickettsiosis are fevers, headaches, muscle aches, swollen in glands, cough, rashes, and eschars. An eschar is a small, dark colored sore that first appears at the area of the bite where you are infected. The uncommon symptoms of rickettsiosis are mental confusion or delirium and breathing issues. Treatment and prevention of rickettsiosis. The main treatment of rickettsiosis is doxycycline, a tetracycline antibody that reduces the duration and severity of infection. To prevent this disease, there is no vaccine, but you can use insect repellent because it's caused by ticks, mites, and lice. You can also wear protective clothing like long sleeve shirts, long pants, and wide brim hats when you are outside in an area that you may find ectoparasites. The name of my experiment was Pathology of Experimental Rocky Mountain Body Fever in Rissa Smokies. My experiment was done to determine the incidence and type of lesions in a group of rhesus monkeys dying at various intervals after extrapanous or intraperitoneal inculation of rickettsia rickettsii. The materials used were live rickettsia, yolk sacs of marinated chicken wings, sucrose prostate glutamate buffer, and duck embryo cells. In the experiment, rhesus monkeys were injected extravagantly with rickettsia rickettsii. My experiment was important because it was thought that the type or incidence of histological lesions during experimental Rocky Mountain body fever in rhesus monkeys would not significantly change based on the varying rate of incubation. Other important information. The mortality rate of rickettsiosis is 10 to 30%. The incubation time is 1 to 10 days. In the tick population, the ticks that carry rickettsia are 1 to 3 percent. The time taken to transmit rickettsia when a tick, lice, or mite is on you is 24 hours. In Asia, 30 percent of all reported fevers or diseases are connected with rickettsiosis. About 1,200 cases of Rocky Mountain spider fever are reported yearly. This disease is difficult to diagnose because the symptoms are like many other less serious diseases. In conclusion, rickettsiosis is a group of infectious diseases transmitted by ectoparasites carrying the bacteria rickettsia. One symptom of this disease is a characteristic sore called an escar, which doctors check for first, and there is no cure or vaccine to prevent this disease. This is my citations. Thank you. Any questions? Questions? Gabriel. Even if it takes 24 hours to transmit the disease after a few years, it takes like, But is, is it just from the bite and then it takes 24 hours? Or does it have to be biting you for 24 It has to be biting you for 24 hours while rickettsia is transmitted to your bloodstream. Does that answer the question? Maya? Uh, what exactly were the results of the experiment? Um, in the experiment, I have to do more research to answer the question. So, let me see. Um, 
Yes, Rocky spotted fever is a disease in the spotted fever group. Josh. Um, those three types that you were talking about, remember, in your slide, those three different types. Um, is those, are those like three different types, like if there are three people, one of them, they don't get one of them? Or like, is there a chance to get all three or only two? Well, the types, there are um, different diseases in each group because those are the groups. And yes, a person can only get one disease out of those groups. So like, even if you have one of them, you can't have another one after? Um, yes, you probably could. But I'd have to do more research to answer your question. Jordan? Um, how long does this uh, disease last? This disease lasts, lasts from one month to three years. Um, is Rocky Mountain spotted fever uh, common in uh, states around um, Rocky Mountain? Like Rocky Mountain spotted fever is common all over the world and it is the most lethal disease out of rickets. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Nyla? Is it possible to get one type of disease more than one? Excuse me? Is it possible to get one type more than one? Sorry, I can't hear you. Um, she said, is it possible to get one type of the disease more than one time? No, it's not possible. Because the rickets site is already in the bloodstream. Oh, Josh. Where is this one, like, most common? It is common all over the world, but to answer the question, I have to do more research. Quincy. What are some preventions against these? Well, you could wear protective clothing so that the um, chicks or ectoparasites can't bite you. And you can use insect repellent. Thank you.